On page 37 in the grab and go, we are going to look at word relationships. And there's three types of word relationships on this page, adages, proverbs, and idioms. And the secure skill we're going to focus on today is explain the meaning of the idiom. So we're going to come down here and we're going to look at these idioms. And idioms are sayings that we use that do not literally mean what they say. So you do need to be able to infer to understand what these idioms mean. They're often used in writing and just being exposed to them and learning more and more of them can just help you understand when authors use this figurative language, when they're not saying exactly what they mean, but creating these sayings or using sayings that they assume that people know. So the two idioms we're going to look at is, I know you want your notebook back, but you are barking up the wrong tree. I wasn't even there when you put it down, so I certainly do not have it. So what does barking up the wrong tree mean? It means that you are asking the wrong person. And where does that come from? It comes from dogs. Like if a dog were trying to find something and it's standing at the base of the tree and barking up at it, indicating that whatever they want is in that tree, that would be where barking up the wrong tree comes from. Second one. Wow. He sure is on the ball. He has everything ready and we just got here. And what does on the ball mean? It means that you are ready and prepared. And that one, I'm not sure where on the ball comes from. What I think in my mind is someone being a, like in the circus and being able to balance themselves and being in control of what they're doing. That's the image that comes to my mind. So these idioms, they're in writing. You need to be able to look at it and say, someone isn't literally barking up a tree or standing on a ball, but I should use what that means to understand the rest of what is being written.